Most YouTubers are absolutely shameless when it comes to getting views on the platform. They would golden shower their mothers while their father films for their vlog series if it meant a couple hundred thousand views. But none are more shameless or just downright batshit insane than Prank Invasion. There's nothing more I can say about Prank Invasion that hasn't been said about your creepy uncle or the pedophile gym teacher you had growing up. This man is a downright fiend. Look at that face, just look at that face. That's the face of a cool guy that tongue fucks his sister with no shame. Just look at how satisfied he is with himself. So this guy's real name is Chris and he seems to like to fuck his sister, so I'm guessing his last name is Lannister. And as you can see, nothing is off limits when it comes to getting YouTube views. Now, it's debated if this is real or not since all of his shit's fake, but this one has some like proof that it's his real sister, kind of. I, I don't really care. It's a weird clickbait anyway to really bank on the incest community. Uh, there's a cardinal rule when it comes to incest porn. It's not incest porn if the sound's off, then it's just porn. And I think that's what Chris is kind of banking on. I really don't know. The man's a fucking delusional madman. But what I want to really talk about is his behavior on Twitter. This guy is absolutely fucking pathetic. So it all started a couple days ago with this tweet targeting Ethan, because Ethan's made a lot of videos about him insulting his shit. And I guess on this day, something just snapped at him like the fucking Winter Soldier. And he called Ethan out to a boxing match, which was declined, so then he went to a chess match, which is quite a big jump from boxing to chess. You might as well have just challenged him to a great tea party. Not exactly the most stunning or brave of tweets or anything like this, but it got kind of big because Ethan responded to it and then I saw it. So I went to his Twitter and his fucking bio says professional fighter 8-0. I don't know if I believe this. I, I'm guessing he's beating his opponents by making out with them until they get too erect and ejaculate and just collapse from exhaustion. I don't know what his strategy is because this doesn't seem like a fighter. This is definitely more of a lover. This man's like a fucking vampire of lips. This man needs them to survive. He's always sloppily kissing an actress he's paid. So I'm guessing he's transferred that strategy to the octagon. I don't know. I haven't checked out any of his fights on Pornhub yet. So when I saw this, it piqued my interest and I kind of kept up with the Twitter drama and it really was revealed how pathetic and sad this man is. A response from Chaos Silencer, you need to go to college to be smart, and then Chris responds, Reread my statement. Your reply is a logical fail. I would know because I scored a 174 on the LSAT, which got me into Northwestern Law after graduating with top honors from UC Berkeley. BTW, the LSAT is an exam in logic. This shit is like straight off of a copy pasta. I wish he had continued. I was expecting another tweet like an hour later. Oh, and also, I graduated top of astronaut camp with over a 5,000 parameter index interstellar point score, which has never been done. That blew Neil Armstrong scores out of the water by over 4,000 points. I am quite literally out of this world. You are beneath me. I was expecting more from Chris. If he was going to go on this copypasta route, I wish he had committed a bit harder. When I saw this response, I couldn't help but retweet with comment, which isn't something I usually do. So I said, you fucking idiots don't even realize he also graduated at the top of the Navy SEALs with over 500 confirmed kills. Even more impressive, he's made out with his sister over a thousand times. No, you know, not the biggest zinger I've ever had, no doubt, but I thought it was enough to at least get a response from Chris, which it didn't. Chris is obviously very careful with the fights he chooses, which is why he's 8-0 against the middle school marching band that he's brutalizing. So he didn't respond to me, but he did go on even further into his delusions. He made two tweets making it an open challenge to anyone in a chess tournament for $100,000, but no one cares about him, so no one responded to it. I think his attempt was to get more people talking about him, but it didn't work because nobody cares about Chris, except for Ethan to make a couple jokes because Chris is just the punching bag. And then when it seemed like he wasn't getting anything more out of the exchanges, he made this tweet, and this is why I think he's probably the saddest man on YouTube. You see that magic? This brand deal wanted to pay me 25000 but they said my Twitter impressions were low compared to YouTube and Instagram. Boom! I engineered this and played you for fools. Daddy's got his check now. No, you don't, Chris. How does that make any sense to anyone that's not five years old? Uh, oh, uh, man, we'd really like to give you $25,000 for nothing, but your Twitter impressions are low, and they're super low, Chris. You get, like, nine likes a tweet. Better luck next time, Chris. Pump up those rookie numbers, pussy boy. Uh, how does that make any sense? What kind of brand goes to Chris 
offering $25,000, but his impressions were low, so they take it away. He didn't even do a brand deal. He didn't do anything. Why did they give him $25,000 if he didn't promote a brand? Are they just giving $25,000 to anyone that can get 500 uh, retweets? That's fucking silly. It obviously didn't happen, Chris. No one believes that happened. And he goes on further into his ruse, his, his pathetic shell. He says, Thanks, invaders. My brand deal confirmed a nice bonus due to these awesome Twitter stats, and I've never even promoted my Twitter from YouTube once. Then he shows the 2.5 million impressions. Uh, Chris, why the fuck would someone give you $25,000 if you didn't even promote their brand? That's not a brand deal, you goddamn cro magnon fucking troglodyte idiot. That no one believes this, because it didn't happen. Plus, at 2.5 million impressions, who is going to give you $25,000? That's low on the internet in this modern-day standards. This didn't happen. You're just looking for any excuse for your lunacy, for your fucking senile actions over the day, but you were too proud to remove the tweets because you're a fucking idiot. This is the saddest shit I think I've seen from a pathetic YouTuber, and there's so many pathetic YouTubers, but this really took the cake because it's so blatantly obvious that he's just making this shit up as he's tearing up behind his keyboard. And what kind of fucking brand would even work with Chris? Someone peddling incest porn out of the back of a garbage truck? What, what kind of brand would want to work with a guy whose videos are making out with his sister for views? That didn't happen. You're not getting paid for shit. Maybe you're getting ad revenue from the video. I could believe that. But I don't think there's any... I don't think Gillette's coming to you for the best a man can get fucking his sister. I don't think that's happening. And certainly not at $25,000 for starting Twitter drama. Just absolutely ridiculous. I, I wanted to just make something about this because this is the saddest shit I've seen from a YouTuber. And a lot of YouTubers do some pathetic sad shit. But this took the cake... Uh, I, I wanted to make this earlier, but I decided let's let it sit for a little bit and see if Chris has any more tricks up his sleeve, any more big brand deals in the making, but unfortunately he has not delivered. Uh, I can't wait for Chris's next video where he butt fucks his sister for views. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, Chris. Keep up the great work, man. Keep crying on Twitter. Fuck yeah, man. See ya.